What happened to me? Today is the Feast of the Epiphany, so I thought today would be a good day to reveal myself. As you may have noticed, I've removed all my tarot content from offline. Also, I'll no longer be doing any more tarot readings. The reason for this is that I've undergone a conversion to the Catholic faith. Now that requires some explaining, because what I mean by the Catholic faith is different from what a lot of you might assume I mean by those words. When you hear Catholic faith, you might think I'm referring to the organization run by this man, but I don't actually regard Jorge Bergoglio as a true pope. Again, that requires some explanation. If you stick with me in this page, I hope to offer more information about this in future posts. But for now, it's necessary to note that tarot and all forms of divination are a violation of the first commandment. Also, the images on the tarot cards themselves are full of Gnostic symbolism and Masonic imagery. These are things I've spoken about before. In fact, I know that's why many of you probably enjoyed my content in the past, because I would point out and explain these things. But here's the thing. I no longer regard this Gnostic and Masonic imagery as something harmless. I now regard it as something very, very, very evil. It is an offense against God because it sets up a form of spiritual science which is outside of God's law and which tries to circumvent the obedience that we all owe to God alone. Again, this is something I hope to explain more in further detail in future posts, so I hope you'll stick with me for that. I know that this might sound like a shocking turn of events, but remember, Pamela Coleman Smith, the woman who made the modern tarot deck, also converted to Catholicism and renounced her occult connections later in life. Back then, she didn't have the benefit of being able to connect to many people through social media. But if she could, I'm sure her prayer for you would have been the same as my prayer for you. May all souls reject errors, lies, and falsehood. May all souls come to the knowledge, acceptance, and love of the truth. Amen. First of all, right off the bat, um, I do not know who this man is. I'm not making this video to shame or attack this man. I just wanted to address the rhetoric spoken in this video. As far as the whole notion of changing faith, we've seen Doreen Virtue do this. We've seen many people who used to read tarot do this. None of this is new. In fact, if you actually pay attention, it's common for this to happen when Saturn or Jupiter is transiting mutable signs of perspective. Case in point, the 2019 conversion of Kanye West while Jupiter was in Sagittarius of philosophy. You can even tie this back to revivals that have occurred in the 90s, the last time Saturn was in Pisces, and in the late 60s, the last time Saturn was in Pisces. In other words, you're going to keep seeing people convert back to the faith. In fact, I'm very impressed in how eloquently he was able to explain his switch into Catholicism. Thankfully, that makes speaking about the rhetoric behind his words easy because it's very rare to find someone who actually knows what they're talking about. So I just want to make it clear the whole concept of reading tarot and then not reading tarot anymore it's not really a big deal it's not a bad thing but i do want to speak on certain things he said that caught my attention first of all it's very easy to get caught up in ethos and pathos which a whole lot of the argument was really ethos and pathos the ethos is convincing you that he is an authority on tarot the pathos is mentioning and correlating Gnosticism and Masonic imagery to in any way being evil. And it's a narrative I've fallen for before. Honestly, that's why I have no problem with the messenger. I don't shoot the messenger. What the person in the clip I just played said and what I believe personally about do what thou wilt philosophy and it being Luciferian and taking you away from God, I believe in too. However, to basically infer that using divination and reading tarot is evil, that's a stretch. It's so much of a stretch if you didn't really dissect the logic of it, you would actually think that it made any sense in reality. And that's why even the main mention of it is merely just a straw man argument mentioning that the creator of the imagery also converted to Catholicism is a red herring fallacy that doesn't account for the variables 
in that time period that may have influenced their conversion back to Catholicism. In fact, even correlating Gnosticism and Masonic imagery to evil is more of a tugging at people's heartstrings, pathos, than anything, once again, based in reality. And in employing these red herrings in a straw man, he is just like anyone who regurgitates this narrative, unintentionally or intentionally creating a persuasive definition. It's basically taking the science of a divination art like tarot and defining it based off of the biased lens of religion and philosophy. And that's the main problem that I have with this rhetoric. It's literally just begging the question. It is an appeal to a false authority. So the real reason why someone cannot appeal to a false authority and tell you that tarot is evil because it goes against a commandment written in a edited book, that's a problem. The historicity of the New and Old Testament combined with the history of Catholicism period is not an authority that can be appealed to in order to tell thousands of people that they're evil for even performing divination. It is 2024. We need to stop quoting Deuteronomy as proof that divination is even bad. So no disrespect to the speaker of that video. This is not about him. It's just about that rhetoric that you will continue to hear from so many people. I just want to let you know it is nothing more than colorful languaging filled with pathos and unfortunately no logos based in reality. The problem with a statement like that is it removes the agency for a Christian to read tarot which at that point just boils down to arguments over how you practice the faith. And now you see why there's so many denominations. So this is just part two on my debunking divination debunked series. I'm going to go a lot more in depth with this concept. I just wanted to give you a flavor of what we're going to be talking. Moving forward, just please be aware of people speaking colorful language and convincing you of things that are not in any way based in this real Virgo dimension. Fully expect more during this Saturn and Pisces transit that will be ending 2025 to see the Reaper Saturn murder the faith of most people. Pisces is the legend, but it's also the fraud. So it's crazy to see how these frauds are going outside.